Well, hello everybody, it's Old Gamer Joe back with another Media Moogle review. Today we are taking a look at a game that came back originally in 2013. This is an older title, but it is finding new life on the Switch. It is called La Mulana. Actually, both games have recently been released on the Switch, but I decided to do two separate reviews because these are both pretty big games, so I wanted to be sure to cover them both appropriately. NIS America handles the publishing this go around, and I have to admit this is a title that passed me by, or really a series I should say that has passed me by, and I'm excited to get into it and finally get a chance to play it here now. So in this first game, players will take control of archaeologist Lameza Kasugi. The best way I could come up with describing this game is sort of like a 2D explorative Tomb Raider. And it's a game that is not bogged down with any real type of meaningful storyline or long cutscenes or anything like that. In fact, you are dropped right into the action from the get-go, armed only with your whip and set off to explore with not a ton of direction given. This ultimately plays to the game's strength and brings more focus to it. It's almost as if the developer was able to give the illusion of a giant open world in a 2D setting, so that's a really cool thing about La Mulana. The task will not be easy, however, as you'll have to whip, bomb, shoot through your enemies, all of which have varying levels of patterns and difficulty, and explore dangerous labyrinths full of really unique traps and interesting layouts that constantly challenge you but keep you on your toes at the same time. You will die a lot in this game, it is not meant to be easy, and you will get lost probably a lot in this game, but the game expertly designs itself in a way where each room that you pass by seems to present itself as a little bit of a puzzle. You'll have to clear out the enemy to really focus your approach to every room, discover hidden little switches and fun little secrets, a lot of which are well hidden and not necessarily meant to be found so easily. The game can be approached and completed in a lot of different ways and offers fun shops which you can replenish your supplies at, some effective alternate weapons and runes that help you along your way including shurikens which can be thrown at your enemies from a distance rather than having to rely on your whip all of the time. But the heart of La Mulana lies in the explorative creativity that it allows its player to experience at their own free will. This is also a fun title graphically to look at, I enjoyed the colorful settings and the different ruins that you'll come across, they're all oozing with history and mystery. There's a great variety to the enemies and the settings that you're in, so I really like the look of this game and it does a good job of keeping that same mark of quality in its excellent soundtrack, which can be very uplifting, very cool rocking songs in this game that will surprise you and treat your ears to a symphony of wonderful music. I can't stress enough, however, that La Mulana is a very difficult game, and in that regard, you're going to probably lose your patience on more than one occasion. You may wander into an area that perhaps you are not best suited for. Luckily, you can explore so much in this game that you will inevitably grind up, get stronger, find abilities, and find the appropriate way through. But it's going to take you a long time, as this game will probably tip the scale to 20-30 hours even of gameplay. Unfortunately, in the early going of this game, you're probably going to die a lot until you get a crucial item which will help you teleport around much more easily and be able to restore your health in the spa, which is located towards the beginning of the game. So do understand, if you are going into this game blind, which is difficult to do, to be honest with you, you're going to spend a lot of time. However, it is the recommended way to play the game, as it is a game that is completely designed around the idea of letting the player explore it. Ultimately, however, if you never got to experience La Mulana like me, or you just missed it for whatever reason, now is a great time to do so for Switch owners in particular because the game is excellent in handheld mode. I came across no real technical issues as far as the Switch port goes, so you don't have to worry about anything there, and it was just as fun now as I'm sure it was all the way back then, for me anyways. La Mulana's gameplay first approach pays off wonderfully for the title, and I now can't wait to delve into the sequel, which was also recently released on Switch. La Mulana is currently available on the Nintendo eShop for $14.99, and there is also in the works a Hidden Treasure Edition physical copy, which will include both games in one package and a lot of other fun goodies. For more on La Mulana and all of our other content, head on over to MediaMoogle.net where we have a lot of wonderful podcasts. And if you've enjoyed our video content today, please do hit the subscribe button below or right in the center there in your video. We appreciate you greatly.